So the sanctuary should be down here. I didn't realize that we'd already been somewhere so close to it. Here we go. Aha. God, this weird looking skull. Oh. We've got some ASMR whispering. Um. Silence, my brother. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine if I just if I did some ASMR Skyrim. We're entering the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary now. I have my energy drink. It's a monster energy in a lovely blue can. No, I don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it all. The thing is, when you start whispering, it's really difficult to not whisper. And suddenly it feels really weird. I do have a monster energy though in a very nice blue uh, can. Yoink. Taking those shrouded robes, because I believe, unless we kill what's his face, I believe that's a unique piece of armor. Ah, at last. At last. I hope you found the place all right. Yeah, it was easy. So what happens now? Well, the what happens kappa. now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. We're part of the fam. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Okay, sure. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But mm -hmm. you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. <coughs> Pardon me. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, oh, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The Armor of the Dark Brotherhood. L'Armor. you well in all your... Let am the let am the dark brotherhood. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking hell! I tried to say let am and it sort of just came out as llama. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, I reckon that this arm is probably really bad now at this point. So let's have a look. Oh, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no, it's really fucking, it's really bad, actually. Uh, what if we were to put the shrouded cowl on, though? That's pretty cool. Okay, okay, wait, here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes, how about some chocolate? There's oh, yes, chocolate in this world? I've never seen chocolate. Have you seen chocolate Festus? So Festus Crex? You... <laughs> Humanoid testicle man. Yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down. Nazir. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. Unfortunately. Quite a bit about you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Save the niceties for now. Jesus Christ, why is everyone here a dig? Invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, have you met I'm me? I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Of course you haven't, but you will. You have. You are. <laughs> she now. Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts. I can we smell a marked for death calling my name over there. Do you mind if I dribbling in from time? Go to time. inhale. I'll assign them to you as they become a <laughs> slurp it up. Completed at your leisure. Okay, sounds simple. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. How do you know? You can turn each one in <laughs> as it's complete. One could literally just walk away from ta uh, from Tamriel Whichever from Skyrim. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Oh, I didn't even Try get them. Hold up. Well then. Yeah, yeah. Are the beggar, uh, the beggar at Iverstead. And Baytil. Miller. 
think the miller might be outside we'll windhelm and then the mine boss is over at dawnstar there we go oh <laughs> i thought that was the name of the dragon shout was kill enodius papius <laughs> holy shit where is an odious papius uh at anger's mill yeah i'm pretty certain that's outside windhelm i'm afraid i don't have a primary yeah all right chill out did i say it was a mat for death i feel like i did oh taking that even though i don't know if i really want to collect them i'm taking it i i can take that hello let's get out of here why is the why is Siphis based around like alteration? Hail Siphis, by the way, my bad. <laughs> oh, Kasho, hello. You right? You're looking very sleek. What are you baring your teeth for? Are you right? God, you can get lost in those eyes. Why you've got like red in your beard, haven't you? Have you? Maybe it was the lighting. Sorry, there's a dragon. We should leave. <laughs> there is definitely a dragon here. Um, okay, let's have a look. So this one's difficult to do. This one's difficult to do. Um, just because she's in a very public position. The beggar is easy. The Angus Mill one is easy. Um, apart from the fact, for some reason, we haven't unlocked Angus Mill, which is kind of annoying. So I guess we'll go to the Windhelm Stables and run over there. Um... But the beggar, the beggar's the easiest one because he's just in like an old burnt down house across the river from Iverstead. And this one you can get them while they're asleep. So, but I don't know about the mine boss. I guess maybe you can get the mine boss while she's asleep, but I don't know where she sleeps. I haven't even considered that actually. You could get all of the assassinations when they're asleep, couldn't you? Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Okay. I guess we'll go down that approach. Uh, what time are we on? 10pm. By the time we get there, you'll be asleep anyway. How do we call... I've already forgotten. Summon Arvac. Here we go. Arvac, come on. We have to go. We have to leave. We need to kill. We have to go. We need to leave. We have to kill. Good grief. I don't know why I haven't discovered this area. I guess we've just never had much of a reason to come down here. Go away, you bastard. I wonder, I wonder if we could, like, lure animals over there and get the animals to kill him. Pacifist Dark Brotherhood. That would actually be kind of funny. Here we go. Angus Mill's just up here. We can cross over. Are they still following? Oh, I've heard somebody. I heard a female voice. Kajo, are you okay? God, Kajo, are you alright? Oh! You've just killed Arvac! I'd rather die! <laughs> Walk away right now. <laughs> nice try, but you don't scare me. God, you're gonna regret this. Da, 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 da. Good grief. I didn't realise I had Elemental Bot equipped. I thought it was some sort of conjurer sword. Fucking hell. Kajo. Okay, good. I was gonna say, you should be able to deal with those easy. You shouldn't really have to deal with them, but I made him anyway. <laughs> I didn't expect to get sort of stopped by a thief, to be fair. And usually they're not, there isn't a sabre cat there. Usually it's just a pack of wolves. Because I've, I've been down that road so many times for this specific mission. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, what do you want? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Someone died. Only. Let's see here. Oh, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage in Riften. She asked me to hand out these notices to everyone I met. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Huh? Huh? Consider adoption. C 
Constance Michelle. Uh, 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 okay, whatever. Whatever. Not bothered. I didn't realise that you could actually adopt from the orphanage. I thought you could only get kids from, like, places around Skyrim that you find them. Like in Solitude and Whiterun and stuff. Oh, Anodius. Anodius, Anodius, Anodius. You poor soul. He died in his sleep. What a tragic tale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's go get the one at Dawnstar, since that's going to be the harder of the two. I'm pretty certain you can literally just walk up to the beggar and kill him if they're in, like, the right position, but we'll stealth kill anyway. Thankfully, I don't think you have to do all of the Nazir contracts as we go along. I think there's, like, two periods which, which they make you do them, and I think this is one of them, and then... Um, I think it might be before the wedding, maybe? I can't fully remember. But there is another period where you have to wait. We'll just uh, wait 13 hours, we'll sit around, have a cup of tea, warm my feet by the fire. We'll be Gucci, let's see where she sleeps. <laughs> Right, we'll follow her to her humble abode. Because I really don't want to have to try and kill her out in the open. I don't know why I've never even considered waiting until night time to go after this woman. <laughs> out of context sounds really bad. In context it's bad, to be fair. Because this is the woman. I oh, hold up. What if I was to, like, shoot her with a bow from here? I think that I'd get the job done, you know. I think we'd be Gucci. Oh. Got uh, performance issues. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know that you could do that. We'll take a key to her house, because why not? And let's go get the beggar. <laughs> oh my days. This is like such a weird little collection of quests to do. There are enemies nearby. Did I upset someone? <gasps> no. Wait, if I don't get involved, I think we'll be okay. Kajo. Because nobody else is getting involved. Okay. Go, 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 go. We've got to get out of here. Kajo's fucking killed a soldier. An Imperial soldier, no less. <laughs> that was so chaotic and for no reason. Just turned around and Kajo's beating this fucking soldier to death. Fucking Kajo, he wasn't made for the sneaky life. <laughs> he spent so, mon so many years at this point battling dragons and vampires and all sorts of shit, and now we're finally taking the slow life. <laughs> He's not used to it. Okay. Easy. He's not going to have anything good on him. And let's go back to Nazir. <laughs> I apologise that there's so many loading screens, but there's not really anything I can do about it. It's, it just is what it is. I remember uh, seeing this loading screen, and I was like, oh my god. I really want to do like a Nightblade, Dark Elf, Dark Brotherhood playthrough, but then like, the realisation hit me that <laughs> once you've done that, there's not really anything else to do with that kind of character that makes sense, like story-wise, it's just, oh, okay, that was a cool little character, I guess, and that's it, which 
kind of like looking back at it, I realise is now what a lot of Skyrim was for me when playing it as a kid or a teenager, I guess. It was a lot of like, oh, this is a really, really cool concept. Let's see what I can do with it. And like, let's role play around a little bit with it and then not really getting that far with it. Or it always just evolved into like the same sneaky archer stuff. But the Night Mother is mother to all. It is oh, her voice me. we follow, her will. Yeah, we'll get to it in a minute, Cicero. Did we meet Cicero out on the road? I can't remember. I feel like we did. Haven't you talked to Astrid? She's by the pool greeting the Night Mother and her. Yeah, well, I thought I would fucking hand him my shit and get me money. You and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. One minute, let me put me out, Fion, because I look fucking ridiculous. <sighs> oh, bows do 20% more damage. No wonder we fucking own that dude. Oh, what a kind. Oh! Can we, <laughs> sorry, can we upgrade our shit by any chance so that it's worth wearing? No. Maybe. Oh, that's like 80 though. I don't think we're getting it that close. Huh. Turn to a fucking villager. But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress. Perfectly. You're the boss. Festus looks like I a turtle. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. Okay. We've got some business to discuss. So I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the Hag's Cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Once an ex-lover killed, she's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you okay. to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Uh, I guess so. Anything else? Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be <clears throat> professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Hello. Ah, another member of the family. Hello, hello. So very good to meet you. Um. Keep your distance, Jester. <laughs> we'll get along just fine. Trust poor Cicero? I am, as you say, just an innocent jester, a fool. Oh, but my work is not foolish, no. For I am our mother's keeper. Okay. Farewell. Fair. I guess we didn't meet him on the road. Oh god, right, let's go over to Markov. I really want to see if I can upgrade this armor. Because obviously we can get it to level of exquisite, but can we get it any further than that? And if not, what if we upgrade our light armor? Because I would like to wear this armor while we're doing this this faction playthrough. This faction playthrough. This guild. You know what I mean. While we're doing the Dark Brotherhood. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I have to upgrade my light armor skills and get like the 20% buff. The default 20% buff. I might have to end up doing that. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. We shall go with the flow. But Cicero has arrived, unfortunately. <laughs> I like Cicero. I think Cicero's a brilliant character. And he's one of the standout characters. But it doesn't make him any less annoying. <laughs> he's still an, in an insufferable little shit. Um, we can go hand those in a little bit later. I'm Gorz's assistant. Don't bother with Tacitus. Oh, motherfucker. 
Can you stay out here, please? Because I really need to buy some leather from you. Useless. Useless. You'd think an apprentice could forge a few. Come on. Not tasks. Stop fucking yapping. Don't bother with tasks. Hurry up. Mm -hmm. Useless. Do you sell Forza anything? No. Okay. Well, I'm fucking trying to. Hey. Oh, fucking hell, pardon me. Cash, I don't be so disgusted. Motherfucker. Oh, thank God. And ah, bah, 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 bah. Get back here. Up, oh, no, go away now. Don't need you. <laughs> I'm not very good for anything more than smithy nails right now. Boom, boom. Is that the one that we've got on? One time, I must cut a finger. I guess it must be. I hate Can't upgrade it anymore. Let's have a. Oh, that's not what I wanted to look at. <laughs> Skills. Okay, we don't have any points, but. We haven't been upgrading that. Light armor is only at 26. Increase armor rating for light armor by 20%. So it would go up by... So my, my chest piece would go from 54 to 60. And then from 60 to 65? And it would go up by like 5 each time, I guess? Which is not actually that bad. Fuck it, Alcajo. You must barrel the poor woman off the edge of the thing. The Dark Brother. The Dark Brotherhood has come, Yuri. Is you really here? The Black Sacrament. The ASMR cult. They're here for you, Yuri. Obviously. Now tell me what you need. What I need. What I need. Whisper it back. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. By Sifis, I need details. Get to the point. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holding Banditos. the dwarven ruin. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They Bloody use hell. Their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. It will be done. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. A bit. Well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. Not really, no. No, oh, fine. If you can, I want you to kill Bloody hell! as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too... I'll make it worth your while. Oh, I've just remembered what this is. Okay. Sorry, I just completely remembered what the uh, like where the mission actually takes place. Uh, okay, we can go to Urkenfand, and I think this is literally a case of like us running into a Dwemer dungeon, going straight down to where the camp is set up, and we can like, oh, pardon me, we can just shoot the dude with a bow, and boom, he's gone. I'm pretty certain that's what this mission is. I don't know about killing the woman in Windhelm. I feel like there's been enough murders in Windhelm lately, but... I mean, it's the perfect time to do a murder in Windhelm, I guess. It's the season for it. Every fucker else is. It's probably time for us to do Blood on the, uh, Blood on the Ice Part 2 anyway. Okay. Uh... There's apparently a Stormcloak camp out here. Which I don't really want to go over to because I can't kill them. Or I can kill all of them apart from the leader. I was using the camps to like level up my werewolf abilities early on in the game. <laughs> I was just going to the camps and murdering the shit out of people. That rabbit just teleport. <laughs> okay. Uh, is this isn't the right thing, is it? Hello, little fox. The great lift at Raldbar. Oh, it is. Is this the way out, though? I think it's the way out. Okay. 
I think we can get in through going up this top section. I really just want to go in, shoot him in the back of the head and then get out. Rather than fucking around with anything. Because, like, you can kill him without killing the rest of his crew. Dwemer Ruins are, like, low-key a really, really good place to set up your base. I guess if you live out here. Oh, he fucking sidestepped. Cars out. Motherfucker. God, we shouldn't have gone rock climbing. I think Kajo is using a bow. I was going to say we shouldn't have gone rock climbing and we'd probably be okay. Kajo would be here attacking. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck. Don't tell her to do a worse. She's done a worse. I'm almost fucking dead. Fucking do your worst. Uh. Fuck you. Yeah, too right, motherfucker. <laughs> Kajo takes no fucking prisoners. Raldta. Raldta? Raldbafa? Bafa? Buffoon? Buffoonery? Raldbafa. Better than Raldbanir. Near? Far? Far and near? No? Okay. For fuck's sake. Oh my god, that's a genius way to cook your skeever. Ow, fuck. And your trespasses, apparently. Oh god, have they heard me? He's right there, I can see him. I've missed. Nope. Nope, you're not the dude that I want. Run. Kajo. What are you doing? There's somebody here. Get off of Kajo, you piece of shit. Oh, he's fucking swinging. Oh. Holy shit. I've got to be so careful because I'm wearing this fucking light armor. Okay, go, 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 go. Sorry, Kajo. I'm getting out as quickly as possible so you'll come through. I guess we should probably go after Nilsine. Just for the extra cash. I always struggle to take out Nilsine because she's literally somebody that just walks around the city. But, I mean, if we wait until night time, she'll probably go to a bed. We can hopefully also pick up Blood on the Ice Part 2. Because there should be somebody dead. There should be somebody a little bit baggered. Here we go. Uh, Kajo, you've got to stop. Is there somebody dead over here? No? There's usually somebody dead over here. That's weird. It's been enough time. Do we have a Blood on the Ice quest? No? Very weird. Do 
Oh my god, I can't believe that actually happened. The dude was, like, walking right next to her and she just collapsed with an arrow in her back. I've never been able to kill her that easily, but I was just like, as long as I'm sneaking, I don't think the AI will bother caring. Like, as long as they don't know where the arrow came from, I don't think it's an issue. It's such a smart idea as well for, like, an assassin to be able to conjure their weapons. Because then you can just make it disappear. Just be like, oh my god, that arrow that came from up there somewhere. In reality, you were just like 10 feet away. Muri, we've done it, my dear. Well, what news? Is Elaine... Elaine Dufon now lies dead. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsin. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment and a symbol of my affection. Affection? I'll never forget you. Um. Okay. Bloody hell, she gave us 1,200. Good grief. Okay, well, I guess we'll report back to Astrid and also hand in our other missions. 